this is the real Tom Rose, and let's they, they ask us for the area of trapezoid A, B, E, Z, or A, B, E, D, which is this guy right here. And I think it's gonna be easiest for us to use the formula for the area of a trapezoid, which is one half, um, so let's write it like this. Base one plus base two over two times H, where um, this is base one, this is base two, and the height is the distance between them. If you drop it down such that there's a right angle, but that will, that will simply be um, the measure of DA because, um, because this is a right angle already. So things we can use to help us on our journey here, this is, label this, this is area of trapezoid. Things we can help use to help us on our journey are uh, the, the fact that this is a, they say a right isosceles triangle, which is code for 45, 45, 90 triangle. 45, 45, 90 triangles have ratios that you can utilize. So knowing that this is 45, 45, 90, you can set this, the side ratios equal to one, one root two. So they tell you DE is three, right? So base one equals three, that's nice. We're already on our way. Um, they tell you base two is five, AB, which is base two is five. That's also nice. So we're already halfway to getting our equation. All that we need left is to calculate H. Um, and we know that if base one is three, we know that this is three, and we know that if base two is five, we know that this is five. So the difference, H, must be the difference of five and three. Five minus three equals two. So H must be equal to two. There you can get, so eight over two times two equals eight. Um, eight is not among the answer choices, but you'll notice that we do have uh, 16 over two, which is equal to eight. And this should really be changed to say, to say eight.